I love Divi, but this jumping menu is super frustrating. And you, pro you might get it on your site, you might not. Uh, if you found this video, then chances are you probably do have it on your site. So this video is going to go over how to fix this. Uh, it's not too big of an issue, it's just some simple CSS and it will be done in no time. So first of all, you're going to want to make sure you're not logged in or you're in incognito mode so your toolbar is not showing up here. So for example, if I'm logged in, then you'll see this up here, how do you, whatever your name is, and you don't want that to show up. So once you're in incognito mode, then what we're going to do is right click up close to the top, press inspect, and then what we're looking for is main header. And so what we're wanting to take into account is this data height on load, which is 127. And for this particular style, which is, it's got a primary menu and a secondary menu, and then it's also got a fixed menu. So what this is going to do is it's going to have three numbers, but sometimes you might only have one number, or you might only have two numbers. So that's why this looks a little bit more complicated than what yours may look like. So you're going to take the data height on, on load, which is 127, and that's always going to be there. Then you're also going, for this example, I'm going to take this uh, top, which is 83 for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, those are the two numbers I'm going to take and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into the CSS like this so you're going to want to make sure it's just working on screens over 980 pixels so anything that's a tablet and a phone it won't happen on and so you're going to want to make sure you have the opening bracket the closing bracket and then in the middle we're going to have page container which is 127 so that's going to be from the, it's 127 from the top and the padding is also from the top so what that means is that it's going to be this is when the page container starts and this is all the heading so another number we're going to take because this has a secondary menu is this main, hunt, main header 83 pixels from the top now you might not need this if you don't have the secondary menu so now we're going to update this and I did this through a, I did this custom CSS through a custom CSS and JS plugin, but you can also do it within Divi uh, right here. And then scroll down until you see custom CSS, and this is another place that you can put it. And I'm going to have the code in the description in the video, so all you have to do is change your numbers. And once we have that code in, then going to want to make sure I have a new incognito because of the, uh, I've got the caching on, and I'm going to type in this again, and it still happened, so let's just, didn't happen that time, so let's purge it, and there we go, no more jumping menu. It's a pretty easy fix and yeah hopefully it helps you out and you got some use out of this video and you have no more jumping uh, jumping menus in Divi all right have a good one if you like this video then please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more then subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time have a great day